All right, welcome back to Derail Valley. So in the last episode, well, we, we moved this. This yeah, that's how it went, pretty much. Uh, but we moved this gigantic tanker thing. It's like 534 tons, and we moved it all the way from food. Well, we, yeah, from from Harbor in Town over here. Uh huh. We moved it from here, and we went up to Food Factory in Town. So we're now in Food Factory in Town. And originally, the plan was like I was gonna go up this route, and it was gonna be super fun. I was gonna go through here. It was gonna be awesome. I was gonna get to go over here and do this loop de loop and come around here, and everything went wrong. I got stuck like here ish. Right in here, right north of Goods Factory in town, and had to backtrack and then go down this way and go around. It was super annoying and I hated it. Uh, but anyway, so now we're in Food Factory in town and we've got a much lighter load. So we also had to use two locomotives for that. It was not enough to get it done on those steep mountain passes. But uh, the way back to Harbor in town should be much easier. And what's great is we have this load over here. We're not hooked up yet, but we're ready to be hooked up. I got to pay fees, I think, first. It's going to hurt a lot because I got two locomotives down here. They're both very low on fuel, probably a little damaged. They're both humiliated from almost failing. I mean, we did finish the job. It was just brutal. Obviously, no time bonus. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be taking this job, which is going to go from Food Factory in Town back to Harbor in Town. So we're going to go back, but we're going to do the real route. We're going to do it. The route will be easier because we'll be going downhill. And also, it's only 153 tons. Easy peasy for one engine one locomotive, should be no problem. So this is gonna be uh, containers, you know, containers, different containers. So yeah, we're gonna do that, it's gonna be better, it's gonna be like a redemption from the last one. And we're gonna go right back to Harbor Town because it's kind of like our, well, it's really our, gonna be our best selection for missions right here unless we get into shunting. Though actually a lot of stuff is Harbor Town, so uh, yeah. So we're gonna do it. Okay, let's go in here, we're gonna pay our fees. I'm scared to see what they're gonna be. They're gonna be expensive, but I do have 160, almost $167,000, which is, it sounds like a lot. Um, but it's not, not really, because, like, stuff is expensive in this game. Just watch. We're going to go into fees. Yeah, this is going to hurt a lot. 13940 on one locomotive, 15200 on the other one. Yep. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we could, we could probably do that. I just don't really, I don't really know how to, to, you can't do it everywhere. Uh, like, I don't know if they have a manual. Oh, they do have a place to repair things here. We could do that. That seems... Am I that desperate? No, I'm, I don't care. I don't care. We're just, I'm just going to confirm. Nothing matters. Oh, this is going to be so expensive. It's fine. Okay. Bye, money. Goodbye. Love you, money. See you later, money. Okay. What are we out to now? 138,000. Yeehaw. Good stuff. Okay. We should be able to validate this now. And, uh, but let me go hook it up first just to, you know, save ourselves as much time as possible. So the engine's now off because when you pay fees, it turns the engines off. And I think it also, well, I don't have a disconnect, so I can't remember, but we're gonna, I had a disconnect anyway, so. Okay, we're gonna get this hooked up, boop, and yep, and there you go, and let's get her booted up too, just for good measure, huh? Boop, boop, I wanna, you know, use all my time. Um, so we're in good shape, we're ported, we're pointed northeast, so we're basically going to go the route that I wanted to go last time. So I'm gonna go around here, we're gonna do the loop-de-loop, -loop, which I really wanted to do, and then we're gonna go right, and we're gonna go down this mountain pass, and we're gonna go into Harbor and Town this way. That is the plan. So we're really, we're gonna do it. It's gonna happen. Like it's not just a plan. It's gonna be a reality. I said that last time. It didn't work out. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it today. It should be a lot easier. We got an easier. We're on the downhill mostly, and uh, this is much lighter per locomotive. Yay! You gotta love when the job validates. I guess. I don't know. I mean, when? Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't, because it's like, yo, you need to pay fees. Quit being, quit being the way you are. Or something. Uh, cab lights, and we're off. Here we go. Stuff's happening. And this is FFH FH95 car. <laughs> this is so hard to do. CFF664, which should be one of them on here. I mean, it doesn't, you can match it earlier, so it's nice. Uh, CFF664, there it is, the only turquoise one. No, wait for me! <laughs> just kidding. I love that. I need that in, like, real life. Desperately need it in real life. Okay, let's get back to, like, driving. I need to move my stuff around because it's all messed up. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I like to move the jobs. Uh, like, like, here? Oh, that's not really what I wanted. Wait. Wait. No. Uh, world... Oh boy. Wait, where's my world map? What just happened? Oh, there it is. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Uh, 30 kilometers down. All right, things are happening. So we're rolling out. We are going to Harbor in Town. When we get to Harbor in Town, 
presuming that we do. We're going to E9I track. Okay, wonderful. It doesn't really matter that much right now. We are coming out of food factory in town. Looking great. So we're going to just kind of cruise along for a little bit here. And then when we get up past this switch, we'll get to do this little loop-de-loop -loop thing that I really wanted to do last time and couldn't. So that should be, that should be fun. All right, coming up to our little junction here, we want to hang left. Oh, that was that was close. I, I should have been a little more prepared for that. Uh, so that will drive us through here to get us set up to do the loop-de-loop -loop and under. So that's going to be kind of fun. We're going to go over it here pretty soon, and then we're going to see exactly. All right, we're I think we're going we're going over it. Oh no, we're going under it. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so we're going under it. So we're going to come back and go down that uh, on the way back around presumably so that's good things are going well uh, I can tell this is considerably lighter than the last time so I'm enjoying that a little bit incline through this but trains okay well actually we're getting a little warm but uh, it's manageable I can manage it maybe hopefully oh actually we haven't reached the intersection yet I kind of uh, that's nothing up there no that's nothing it's actually up here right up here on the left somewhere somewhere are we so we are going over? Under. Under. Oh, uh, cool. Yep, yep. That's the actual bridge. I lied before. That's the real bridge. Okay. Hey, look. That's where we were. That's a food factory in town again. So that's where we were. We came right out. I have to come over the bridge. Came around here. And uh, so I didn't even notice this track up here. This is so nice. Uh, oh, yeah. We came out of a tunnel. We're a little bit not in a tunnel. Now we're, now we're back in a tunnel. Okay, now we're coming out again. This is good. So, uh, yeah. We're coming up alongside of where that little uh, interchange was that we went straight through. And then pretty soon here, we're going to be going over the track that we went on. This loop is actually larger. I mean, it's bigger than it looks on the map. So, okay, we should probably give a little gas here. We're kind of slowing down. Uh, but that, is that the way we're going to go? No, I don't think so. No, it's going to be over on that side, I think. Yeah. But uh, it's very, it's very, uh, it's very scenic. It looks nice. I'm, out, I'm outside now. This is dangerous. It's very pretty. I like this game so much. And tunnel. So I think we're pretty much going to go through this tunnel and then pop out and go right over the track. Because the track that we were on was down there. It's going to kind of circle around as we around that corner. We're going to come through here. We're doing all right. Things are good. And there's our bridge. We're going to go right over it. And then hopefully it gets a bit flatter. This little loop around was actually pretty climbing, which makes sense. We had to climb from down there to up here. So we did that kind of in a big loop. But, uh, yeah, cool. Maybe now, I, I, I am hoping it's going to be more downhill now. Because I know, I really know that this is a steep section that we're going to get to just cruise downhill now. And this is all basically downhill. So, whenever that starts, <laughs> it's going to be good. I'm going to have it easy from there. It's going to just be, like, rolling pretty much. No motor, just, just rolling. I'm gonna give us a little more, get a little more speed, then we can coast out for a bit, hopefully. Nope, can't do it. Slipping. Man! Yeah. Still pretty flat, I guess. Alright, we'll see how we do, and uh, hopefully pretty soon we'll start going downhill. Ah, uh, yes, this part looks familiar. I remember you. This is where we got stuck. So we're here, just north of the Goods Factory in town. I remember this. This is like traumatic and we're having to apply pretty good brake to stand the 30 kilometer an hour speed limit here in fact like i really got a train brake hard or we we go so this is fairly steep yeah i think the it only said the grade was like maybe a little over two degrees or something but like man it is not fun to come up this it doesn't look like much but it's just long and uh it does not back down I can just get a little bit of train a little bit of brake Real break, break, break. I don't know what it's called. Okay, we're down. We're now into a 70 km hour zone, so let's let it roll. This is so much better. I like going downhill. It's also a lot lighter load. But I gotta say, if I had to take this load up, I think it'd be hard. Like I've been kind of battling temps, just doing my my climbs that I had to do to get to here. But the rest of this should, knock on wood, be smooth sailing. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> 40. Okay, let's. Let's break her a little bit here, bud. Not do anything too crazy. How are we feeling? That's sort of solid. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we'll keep coming here. Pretty soon we'll see Goods Factory in town on the left. In fact, 
Nope, not quite yet. Not quite yet. A little bit up here. We'll get to see on the left. It's very scenic. We get to cross it. We'll go over it on the, the bridge, which I got across twice last time. Once going forwards and once rolling backwards, crying. Hmm. But uh, this time, we're just going to roll down it the right way, triumphant. Because we're going to get paid like $10,000 for this job. I didn't see what the... What was the time limit on this? Does it show me the key? Uh, 49 minute time bonus. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. I think that, I think that can happen. Okay. Now, we're gonna slip. Oh, we're good. Oh boy. What the needle like was like jumping. Whoa, that was weird. 70, uh, and then we're gonna get some more downhill. Minus 2.2 degrees coming up. Yeah, I mean, we just rolled through this backwards. So there is Goods Factory in town. Nice. I actually really like Goods Factory in Town. It's pretty cool. It's got like a loop. And uh, it's a good one to navigate, actually. Lots of... Yeah, it's pretty. The people there are nice. Actually, there's no one anywhere. This is a ghost town. There's there's no one in this game. It's just, it's just me. It's kind of weird. It's like, I don't know who I'm hauling all these goods for, but... There's no one here. Oh, gosh. Temp. Come on. Let's not do it. Let's not have a derail. That would, That would not be what we want right now. It'd be very sad if we derailed. Rolling through this backwards early, uh, when I did the last job, rolling through it backwards with a really long train was pretty sketchy, actually. Did, it was not a lot of fun. I didn't really know like where my tail end was and didn't know how far to keep going, and it was scary. What if I was going to run into somebody? I mean, not anybody else, because, again, there's, there's no one else. Look how pretty this is. Beautiful. I'm so much cheerier now because things are going well. What's up there? Uh, yeah, hopefully they continue to, but at least I know the way. I know the route in front of me. I feel pretty optimistic, and uh, so yeah, we're gonna keep coming through here. We basically have no choice. We gotta roll this way through. We couldn't go the other direction we wanted. You can tell it's only gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go straight down to Harbor and Town and be in good shape. We'll start to look for our, you know, our track when we get a little bit closer. So we've been cruising along here pretty nice. We're going almost, we're going 70 kilometers an hour right now. Actually, we're going a little fast. We're in a 70 kilometer hour zone for what that's worth. Uh, we are getting close. We're over here. We're kind of working around, and we're going to swing into Harbor and Town. So, yeah, things are good. This is like a totally, totally different deal. Please don't derail. Please don't. I think we caught that in time. Don't want to break too much. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I got really focused there. Man, the lag is so interesting still, the lag spikes, I don't get. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's been it's been fine. It's been a totally different deal than trying to climb out of here. It's 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 been pretty amazing. It's actually been pretty cushy. Uh, good to know that this is a good route to go this way, and eh, not as good to go the other direction unless you've got a pretty powerful locomotive or a lighter load or, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I haven't really had to use the throttle much. It's really just been more managing the speed zones and then speeding back up because I had to brake because of speed zone. But generally, it's not been uh, not been too involved. So when we come into Harbor and Town here, like I said, we're going to be looking for track E9I. And if we look at our map for Harbor and Town, uh, E9I... We're going to come in from the east there. So E9I is going to be on the left. Three tracks deep on the left. How are we doing on speed? Okay, we're actually okay. Kind of got scared there. I think we're flat, so let's, let's take that off. So yeah, so we're going to be three tracks in on the left side when we come into harbor and town. So we'll be doing that pretty soon. We'll be rolling in, and then we'll have to figure it out. And that's a 40-kilometer speed zone. Thank you so much for doing that game. As soon as I hit this corner, this is going to get very dicey. And we're going to pull this back because train brake or the full brake has uh, quite a delay. The train brake is great because it's so much faster. But there, I don't want to take any chances. I'd rather over brake than derail. So and we'll just have to throttle back up. You can hear that, that brake pipe is still, still compressing again. So... It does, there's a significant amount of delay to put the brake off, to re take that brake off. So the train brake is quick. But yeah, so we'll be coming in pretty soon here, and then we'll be getting situated and getting paid. Okay, we're we're here. I wasn't really ready for that turn, so I need to come up here and make sure this is actually the E tracks. It is wonderful. Specifically, 
uh, E9I is, well, I just saw it, uh, right here. So, okay, cool. We're in good shape. I, I was I was worried. I kind of remember this from before, but I otherwise I was not ready. Because you come around a corner and then it's just boom, straight in. And uh, it's kind of, kind of surprising. Okay, so we're going to go here. And then we're going to go left, I think. This one. Yeah. Left. And then we'll take the third track to the left, which should be E9I. We're going to park it, and we're going to get some money. I think we're, I'm feeling pretty good about time bonus here. We, we made great time. I mean, I honestly couldn't really gone a whole lot faster. And let's just kill that. So 708I, 9I. This is 4708I. And 9i is already ready for us. We must have taken. Maybe we took that last one out of 9i, and now we're just bringing a totally different train uh, back into the exact same one. I don't know. When I left, I was so naive and optimistic, and things went terribly. This was a good. This, though, this was a great job. This was an ideal job. Easy job. Downhill, not very heavy. Uh, just, you know, overall, quite pleasant. There it is, but uh, not short, uh, but but pretty light. Cause one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars. Four plus two, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine cars. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we're good. No, 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 we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let me over. Let me over. Okay, that's enough. And stop. Good stuff. And boop, boop, boop. All right, cool. There it is. Let's go get paid. It's over here. <laughs> nice. Uh, seven and validate. Complete. And wow, 33 minutes. We had 49 minutes to get the bonus money. Uh, yeah, we did that by a bit. Always recycle. How much we get? 15,109. That's enough to pay for one of the fees, the fees for one of the locomotives I just fixed. It's so like I said, uh, $150,000 is not that much, especially when I'm not repairing vehicle or repairing the locomotives in a very efficient way. But hey, uh, we're making progress, hoping to keep working through this game to get to the point where we can use one of the big locomotives or eventually like the steam engine. The steam engine is quite a bit cheaper, uh, or this one, the DE6. So going to keep working through it. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos of Derail Valley, be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See ya.